Thank you for I'm on. Oh, you better feed them today. So it's about his vest, so he can stop and sniff as much as he wants. But this is going the opposite of how I wanted it. Because he keeps taking me backwards. <laughs> Every man, what are you doing? You're still needing a poo, but he's walking like he's needing a poo. I was going to take him to the garden before we come out. But it's, out. it's been saying for several months we're not allowed dogs in the garden anymore. Because the people with the huge dogs left their massive piles of dog shit that looked more like horse shit or cow shit. Especially being that there was always diarrhea. Um, so I was going to take him out there for a rent. And if anyone said anything, I was going to say, fuck you, he's an assistance dog. I even contacted the Assistance Dog UK and they said, yes, my rights do apply to the garden. Um, but then I didn't really have time, so I went straight for the bus. But I saw someone else out in the garden with their dog. But we yappy fucker of a Jack Russell started barking his head off at us. She really went, like, there's a nice woman that's got that dog. Like, I think she just recently got it. Um, she has a wee dog before, the same thing. Yappy little fuck barking out the window at us all the time. But, like, she, yeah, she's a nice woman. Her kid's really cute. He used to stare at me and ignore me. Now he always says hi. So when I was coming out today, I waved at him and said hi. I said hi back, but fucking dog was going mental. Now I slowed down. So, yeah. It's madness. Right, I need to put my horn away because I'm going to get him to walk with a proper heel and stuff. Which means I need to... No, this isn't where we're going. Marley! Shh. Jesus Christ. Here. Marley. Heel. There we go. Good boy. Right, no pulling anymore. I know you've not got your vest on. I know you think it's playtime, but... You need to tell me how you're behaving when you've not got your vest on. Don't you want to go and sniff? Right, go and sniff. Don't go stop and pee. Just go and sniff. Right. You're fussing the things that's playtime. Come on. Right, here. Yes. The boy. Focus. Focus. Stay focus. It's not a play too much, it's a leave it walk. You know what a leave it walk is, don't you? Focus. Yes. Come on. He's so cute when I say leave it walk. Leave it walk. Did you focus? No, not on your ass. Oh, it's a fine play when it's not a bit of a Hang on, come here. Let's see if I've got a treat for you. Uh, no, I've got 5p. I've got a tiny bit of a treat, that's what you're going to have to have. Come in. I'm oh, good, how are you? This bit had an awful noise in the background, but basically she was just asking us where we were going and stuff. Because um, I told her like Marley was having a nice fun day. But basically I just took him for a really long walk, let him do whatever he wants, took him on lots of grassy places, etc. And took him to go visit her and her husband. I'm um, just come here. Usually it's always got his assistant dog mess up whenever we go to it. Even if I'm not going anywhere, I always have to do his training every day. So that he'll still be behaved when we actually do go places. I'm just letting him have a fun on the way here. Come on. You can suck it. Oh, you don't want it. You can suck it. You're a good dog. Yeah. Hey, you're very good. Very tissue. Hey, come here. Perfect. 
many types of it, yes, there's a billion. Yeah, you get stuck everywhere. You can't go to the doctor, restaurants, everywhere. Set the shop up the road. The guy in there was like, no, I don't hear Jesus' sister, so get him out. The blast. But I'm just wondering around your house, where's your bin? Ask you. Oh my. Sorry, I feel rude. <laughs> Come here, my eyes. I got a big dog. So he's helping me upstairs and stuff. Stuff. He's obviously a bit small for his job, but he has a lot of stuff he can do. Like, tell me for it, I might do. Some things you can do. Look at that noise is really annoying, like I've had to cut out most of the video, like not just the bits where I'm in this house, like even bits outside, I've had to cut loads out because of that noise and I don't know why it did it and it's, ah, it's infuriating. <laughs> so I spoke to her husband before I visited, like he had to come round, buddy, but, um, so I thought I would be speaking to him while I was there, but apparently he was on the phone or something so I never got to see him, and then right before I was about to leave she asked me to go and grab something from him, which... Turns out he was coming downstairs anyway, but at least I got to quickly say hi. Wow. He's still free at this bit, but he's walking a lot better. And I mean, when I say free, like, I don't let him off leash in the street. Like, but I do use a, I'll give him a longer leash so that he can go ahead when he wants to. And I'll just loosen this. I don't use a flex leash, but I do use a longer leash. As you can see, it's like kind of looped around there. I can let it out if he wants to go ahead or go behind or whatever. But personally, I find it extremely irresponsible when people walk down the street with their dog off leash. Like, they're... I, I, there's no reason for it really. There's not a reason, yeah, fair enough. But see, the amount of people that have their dog up these and they'll run up to strangers, and the owner will be shouting, it's okay with strangers. I don't give a shit if you're going or if you think it's strangers. Like that person may be scared of dogs and they have allergies. They may have a dog that's not friendly, and then you can attack your off leash dog, and then you'll be like, oh, your dog's strangers. At least I'll have to not dog in a damn leash. Like, keep your dog on a leash. Or, if you're going to insist on keeping your dog off me while on the street, make sure it's in a perfect fucking view the entire time. Please excuse my language, but this is beauty it's been. Like, the amount of all these dogs have got problems and their owners do not see it as a problem. They just go, oh, it's so nice to be friendly. No, he's causing a nuisance. Alright, just seriously, just walk in your house. That's not a heel. Marley, heel. <laughs> Good idea. Webs by the looks of it. <laughs> Gross. Oh, you could have snapped your little leg in there. Run the head, you've been a sled dog. Oh, she was bigger, you could pull me through the snow. I don't get much snow here. Right, this way, stop. Hold on. on the head and run in the grass and play and be a dog but if I have a problem he will still do what he needs to do or what I need him to do hey me man come on. 
loves the grass. He doesn't get to play in the grass much. I'll put this grass up here. Come on. I'll let you play in the grass up here. I've got the grass up between the roads up here, so if I have to wait for the bus, you can play on it. But I just want to be near the bus stop. It's walking like he needs a poo. And he walks along next to the fence like that. Or next to a wall. Generally, he needs a poo. But you're right, you Hey, Molly. What is it? What are you doing? <laughs> He's so cute. Have a focus? Yes, good boy. Yeah, you get a cheat for that. That was good. Turn straight around. Oh, <laughs> watch your legs. Alright, stop. Stop at the curb. A bit far back here, but alright. Over. <laughs> 